Hello everyone, in this video I will be explaining you the problem lever and it was asked in code forces round 1042 default division 3. So let's read out the problem. <coughs> in divergent universe, the lever iterates itself given to uh, arrays a and b of length n. In each iteration, the lever will do following, choose a random index i such that <coughs> a of i greater than b of i, then decrease a of i by 1. If there does not exist such i, ignore this step. Choose a random index i such that a of i less than b of i, then increase a of i by 1. If there does not exist such i, ignore this step. So after each iteration, the lever will check if step 1 is ignored. If so, uh, it will end its iteration. So this is step 1. If you do not uh, perform step 1, which is basically decreasing a of i by 1, so you will stop the iteration. So you are given to uh, arrays find the number of iterations that the lever does. It can be shown this number is fixed over all possibilities of random indices that the lever can choose for each step. So yeah, let me tell you what it is saying. So we have 7, 3, 5, 6. We have 7, 3, 5 and 6. n is 2, basically the size of the array. a is of length 2, which has element 7 and 3. B is also has two elements, both the lengths are same, array lengths. Now what they are saying is, um, in each iteration, now what you will have to do is, step 1, you will have to choose index i. So this is index 0, this is index 1. So both 1 is same only. Now you will have to choose i such that a of i greater than b of i. So if you find any element that is there, so you will have to decrease that, sorry, uh, yeah, decrease, decrease that element's value by 1. And if you are not able to perform this operation, so if you are able to do uh, this, if you have found this, so you have to decrease the iteration, else you will have to stop the iteration. And second uh, step what we will have to do is, uh, basically you will have to choose again i, which is independent of uh, this one, what you have chosen. Let's say first one have chosen 0th index. In second step, you can choose the first index, but iteration is same. Okay, so in this case, what you can do is, um, you can choose i such that a of i less than b of i, and if you find this, you will have to increase the value of uh, a of i by y by one. So this is the thing that they have asked. So <coughs> you know, uh, if you try to uh, think of what they are trying to do in this example is that. They are basically trying to make all the array element at corresponding indices to be lesser than equals to the B element. So in this case, if you see uh, iteration 1, let me take iteration 1 we have. So what I will be choosing is uh, first step I will be choosing. Uh, in iteration 1, I am cho choosing first step. So for in first step, you will choose the index. I will choose index, let us say 1. If I choose index 1, but a of i which is 3, 3 is greater than 6 is false, right? So I can't choose this index. I'll choose let's say index this one. So now 7 is greater than 5 is true. So I can now perform this operation, you know, first step. So I'm choosing index uh, 1, wherein 7 is greater than 5, we have found. I'll have to decrease this a of i by 1 as shown. So this will be decreased by 6. <coughs> so, okay, you have decreased by 6. Now your array something will look like 6, 5, 3, comma 6, okay? This is array A and this is array B. But now, see, uh, again you will have to choose your step 1 you have done, now you will have to do step 2. Now if you choose, uh, let's say, 0th index, so in this case A of i should be lesser than 6 less than 5 is false, right? So you will choose this first. So 3 less than 6 is true. So you have found the index wherein 3 is less than 2, uh, sorry, 3 is less than 6, which is true. So this will increase by 1. So it will be 4. So like in, after doing second step, your array will look like something of this kind, 6, 4, and B array will look like, B array will be as it is, 5, 6. So iteration 1 is done now. Now you will be doing the second iteration. In second iteration, you have this element, I mean, these two arrays. Again, step one you will perform. 
so this one index you can't take because it is less this one you will be taking and you will be performing the first step wherein you will decrease its value so array a will look like 5 comma 4 and array b is same as 5 comma 6 and now you will be doing second step wherein <coughs> you will find element which is lesser than uh, sixth i mean lesser than the b of i so a of i lesser than b of i this is the index wherein 4 less than 6 is true so now you will increase this value to 1 ahead so your array will look like something 5 comma 5 and uh, b will look like 5 comma 6 so these two steps you have done now when you go to third uh, iteration so in third iteration what you will be doing is first time you want to uh, first step you want to perform so this is the array uh, what you have 5 comma 5 5 comma 6 and you are trying to find the index as that a of i greater than b of i you will not find any element a of i greater than b of i right because uh, it is equal and it is less but you will have to find strictly greater than so first step you will not be doing don't perform nothing you will not be doing anything here but you want to perform second uh, operation also but one thing to note is that since, since you have not done any operation uh, first operation you have not done your fourth iteration will not be there okay but in third iteration you have to do the second step also so now you'll have to find a of i lesser than b of i so you have found here 5 less than 6 so you'll increase by 1 so your array now will look like 5 comma 6 and uh, 5 comma 6 this is array a and this is array b and uh, since you have not performed <coughs> first step you'll be stopping here so oh, till third iteration you have went so 3 is the answer that you will have to uh, you know print it so 3 that is there we will have to print it so the i think example you have understood but basic idea if you try to understand like uh, let me first erase this or uh, like put the original array it is 7 and 3 5 6 so basically what you are trying to do you are trying to uh, you know for every index this is the index 0 this is index 1 you are trying to basically uh, reduce the value of a of i and increase the uh, value of a of i which means you are trying to make array smaller all the elements of a of i to be smaller than equals to b of i your uh, intention is to do that so if this is my intention and at every step i am increasing you know decreasing the value by <coughs> uh, uh, like all the elements uh, like whichever element is greater because they have told you will have to stop if you can't perform the first operation which means uh, it is not true whatever i said right now okay all the elements values to be lesser than equals to bfi this is not true one thing that is uh, oh yeah uh, that is true uh, sorry that is true because uh, uh, since this 3 is all uh, lesser than uh, 6 so uh, it is true only so what i'm trying to do is yeah this is correct a of i less than equals to b of i that he is trying to do so whenever you find any element to be you know greater than uh, that uh, at particular index uh, the element of a of i greater than the b of i so in order to make 7 to 5 you will require two iterations right because in each iteration you are decreasing the number by one so here you require two iteration so this is the the two iteration so after doing two iteration your uh, value will be 5 comma 5 right so this is the thing now and uh, um, in the third iteration when you go you, then you will be checking okay this is equal so we don't have any element which is uh, a of i is greater than v of i so what do i by i mean this is that so whichever element is greater you will take difference of that all the elements let's say you have here 6 comma 5 so okay uh, in two iterations you will be choosing only this index and you will be reducing the value but after third iteration you have one more element which is uh, greater right so now you will try to decrease this uh, this one so one more iteration this will be 6 minus 5 which is one one more, one more iteration you will be taking but uh, like 2 plus 1 3 iteration have taken but uh, what you will have to do is when you go to the next iteration uh, in that case you will be checking okay all the elements are now uh, equal to or lesser than so which means uh, in array a and b 
if you find a element to be greater than b you will be taking this the difference of that and at the end we will have to increase the answer by one so i think you guys are getting so let me take one more example and explain you so if you try to take this third one right third one answer is uh, one why it is sorry it is second one why it is one because we don't have any element which are greater than uh, you know b of i all the elements are equal and the difference what you will be taking is 0 0 0 but in the first iteration only you are not finding so that's why you will return 1 uh, if <coughs> like one of the element let's say this was 4 so in that case one iteration you have done to you know reduce the value okay uh, yeah one iteration you have take, uh, taken to uh, reduce the value but in the next iteration you will be finding that okay, we don't have any element so that is the thing so uh, that's why again let me take this example now 1 comma 10 and explain you so i've taken 10 and 1 this is a this is b n is one here because it's only one element we have so <coughs> every time what you are trying to do um, you will uh, do the first iteration and you will find that we do don't have any element uh, i mean you find the first element of uh, first operation will do you'll find that 10 greater than 1 so you will reduce by 1 so your array will a look like 9 and then b will be one only second operation you can't do because you don't have any element which are lesser than b of i means a of i lesser than b of i you don't have any element so okay but in the question what they were, what they have asked is that if you can't perform first operation then only you will have to stop so yeah now if you do second iteration again 9 is greater than 1 so it will be 8 so your array will look like 8 comma 1 so like this will go on whenever you have array element is 1 only like you are decreasing from 8 to 7, 7 to 6, 6 to 5 and then when you are coming to 1 at that time you will be starting and uh, you know stopping so how many you know uh, iteration you will be doing because uh, 10 minus 1 is 1 so 9 iterations you will be doing and in the 10th iteration when you have this 1 comma 1 so th that iteration you have found that first step operation you can't do first step you can't do so you you have went to the 10th iteration so it will be 9 plus 1 10 is the answer so I think uh, you you guys are getting. So yeah, let me try to code it up. So you'll have to take n first, and then <coughs> I'm taking, and I'll take vector a of size n, okay, and uh, I'll be taking one by one all the a of i values. And for uh, vector b, I'll not be taking any value. On the go, I'll be doing. I'll take answer initially as zero, and I'll take one uh, variable temp in order to take the bi value. So I've taken let's say no bi value. Now I will uh, store in answer the value max of zero comma, uh, you know. Mm, a of i minus temp why i am taking max is that because in some of the case let's say we had uh, a of i is 3 and temp is 6 so 3 minus 6 is basically minus 3 so that you will not be adding into your answer uh, uh, no variable so in that case <coughs> 0 you will be basically taking ok means uh, 3 comma 6 whatever element is that you are not trying to decrease that 3 that is the thing so whenever you come out of the group, you'll have to increase answer by one. Why one? Because in the next iteration, you'll come to another. We don't have any element in A which are greater than B. So that is the reason. And now you'll have to output answer. Let's try to run the code. Here it is running perfectly. Let's try to submit here. Uh, what was your problem's name? Lever. Let's try to submit it. 
he had got accepted so in this way you could have solved the problem and it is very easy only only the ob- observation was there so yeah thank you guys for watching the video